Hi everyone, it's Melissa Phillips here today with a Makeup Monday. And with Christmas on the way, I wanted to make some fun tags. And we're going to use the Shaker Shapes tree dye, just, just one portion of it, the bottom layer. And then I wanted to show you how to do partial die cuts on your on your shapes. So for now, what I've done is gone ahead and cut some vintage sheet music using my Shaker Shapes tree die and then I cut a heavier portion um, from a coordinating paper for the back. This is Lavender Moon polka dot and then I cut three vintage cream fancy flakes and what we're going to do is we're just going to pick and choose spots where we would like these flakes to be when we cut out our tree uh, for the for the second time. So all you've got to do is just adhere these in place wherever you've selected them and whatever dyes you choose to use. I've seen cute um, everyday and all occasion tags using a doily at the bottom or at the top, just a portion. And I thought that they were so cute. I wanted to try my own version using some snowflake dies. So now that we've got those adhered in place, what we're going to do is run this through our die cut machine again. So you're just going to nestle that right inside your die and then run it through your die cut machine if you need to, you know, tape it in place so it doesn't wiggle a little bit and get out of place then that would probably be a great idea but run that through your die cut machine again and you'll end up with smooth edges and a Christmas tree with a few flakes cut nice and neat okay so here we are um, I've gone ahead and run this through my die cut machine it's taken off all of those edges that were sticking out outside the Christmas tree shape and then I just went ahead and inked my edges to age them a little bit um, just so I get the feel that I'm looking for you know me I like distressed and weathered okay so now your tags pretty much done you've just got to select your sentiment and I've gone ahead and used the holiday double cuts um, my bottom layer was cut using um, Lavender Moon Bitty Dot and then I cut my top layer from Craft. I thought that was really pretty and soft but um, for a different look I've, I had a scrap of gold paper that I cut my bottom layer out of and then just black over the top so you can get several different looks. You just kind of got to decide exactly what what you're going for and I think for me I want to go with the, the softer look. So I'm going to adhere that in place and then we'll dress our tree up a little bit. See if we need to add any stamping anywhere. Some sequins. Okay. I don't know if you like making handmade tags at Christmas time or not, but I do. I think they're so fun to attach to packages. So, okay, there's that. Okay, so the next step, we just want to dress this up a little bit, and I thought I would show you if you added a, you know, a sentiment or finish off what you've started here with joy. So this is joy to the world. What it would look like. Um, this is from the instant photo holidays stamp set and I die cut a vellum double ended banner and then just embossed it in gold so I'm going to add that right across the bottom of my tree centered and I'm going to leave this end just as it is but I'm going to go ahead and take my scissors and snip off this side Okay, then all we need to do is just add a few finishing touches. So I've gone ahead and die cut some Holly Jolly felt leaves. This is spring moss. And I'm just going to adhere those in place. 
And I think I'll add, let's see, here is a sweet blush button at the top. Here's a sequin at the top. Um, what else do I have? So many things in my little Christmas stash. I have these super cute little silver glittered picks, and I may add one of those. Let's trim one of those off and see what it looks like. It's just up to you. You can make each one different and unique. I have to get my hot glue gun out for that one, but anyway, um, then you just want to add a little bit, you know, of a, a hanger onto the back. And this is some top notch twill vintage cream. Just form a little loop and attach it to the tip of your tree, and you've got an instant tag. Um, can't wait to see what you do with it. I know not all of you are vintage lovers like myself, but this is definitely something that you could um, do bright and bold. Um, graphic, clean, um, but holiday tags, it's a perfect time of year to get going on those and dress up your packages. So, Just wanted to add that if you want to dress up your tag one step further, one of my favorite things to use with vintage sheet music, or sheet music or book print for that matter, doesn't have to be vintage, is stickles. This is the goldenrod stickles and I've used it around the edges. It takes a steady hand which I don't really have but silver looks really pretty too. Anyway, one of my favorite things to do when trying to make something a little bit more vintage and, and shabbified. Anyway, give it a try. See you soon.